North Korea's human rights abuse has come under scrutiny in Europe. A new report shows Pyongyang has sent hundreds of workers to EU countries to work like slaves so the regime's party leadership can sip on off their hand, hard-earned money rather. Here's Park Jong-hong with this report. They are referred to as state-sponsored slaves, North Korean citizens doing hard labor overseas to earn money for the communist regime. Hundreds of workers are reportedly working in Europe and 90 percent of their money is being sent back to North Korea. The London-based European Alliance for Human Rights in North Korea, which published a report with the Leiden Asia Center in the Netherlands, said the foreign currency is used by Pyongyang to try and offset the cash crunch caused by the UN's economic sanctions. Most of the North Koreans are working in shipyards, construction sites, and farms in Poland. They are also employed in leisure and clothing firms in Malta and have worked in other EU countries. The laborers do not have formal contracts, are forced to surrender their passports, and are also kept under surveillance. They are mostly married men with family back in North Korea, a practice which is essentially seen as, quote, hostage-taking. The human rights group says that if they were to defect, their family would face punishment at a political prison camp and, in extreme cases, execution. The report estimates that in 2015 alone, almost 20 million U.S. dollars was transferred from Poland to the North Korean regime. A U.N. report published last year estimated over 50,000 North Koreans were working abroad, earning Pyongyang up to more than $2 billion annually. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.